That is how you can get the pay-per-view early. Should that happen, the pay-per-view will be this evening. And now just remember, uh, in case somebody comes in and asks, that is the stipulation. So, well, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. So, now, what do you say we get into a little bit of the actual game stuff here? Say it one more time. Well, that that's simple. To get the pay-per-view early, to make it a pay-per-view, a Summer's Night Slam, you I want a new top donor, since this is one of the top shelf uh, Supercard events, a Summer's Night Slam, you have to donate more than 1,200 bits to become a new top donor, a new top bit donor, to make sure that your little name and how much you is up there on the chat, because currently the top uh, person that has donated the most is Shiro with 1,200, so you have to donate more than that amount. Well, Demon, if that's what I said it to, yeah, but you see, I'm not going to tell you what I said it to because you see, I could have set the new top uh, donator thing to like. A million bits. You don't know. No, I didn't do that. That's that'd just be mean. That'd be terrible. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, that's a stipulation. Uh, donate more bits than the previous top donor Shiro of one thousand two hundred, and we can get going with the a summer's night slam pay per view. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Now let me go ahead and get in here before we get things going. Make sure my tweet is all set up. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, so, all right, the Twitch... Uh, tweet is ready and primed, so what do you say we get this shindig going? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome everybody to the Game Attack Takedown. We are just mere days moments away it'll be here before you know it before a summer's night slam and we got lots of things happening in the foreground in the background there are rumors of some uh, injuries going around but the only one we can confirm to is a red roberta but we still have plenty of action for you tonight regardless of that even though she is taking it easy we have 
a meeting of the minds for one last time because uh, they said it's a bit of a conspiracy to get their titles back. Uh, the tag team champions are going to be in, a, in action against their number one rivals as well as a triple threat match coming your way tonight to find out the number one contender to the G1 Women's Championship and so, so much more right here, right now on the Game Attack Takedown. So everybody grab a seat and make sure you buckle up because we're bound to be in for one wild ride. Because all I got is that one, the the one, <laughs> the one that looks like what Drummer just said, and I got the the one I used before with like the um, curtains. I got that one. So, I mean, hey, if if you know of any good ones I can use, like little transition videos like this door uh, and stuff that's good, you know, send them my way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like to start things off here on the G1 Wrestling Universe. On the G1 Wrestling Universe, we got one-on-one -on -one action right here on the Game Attack Takedown. And first out, we got Shadowcat coming out here. Gonna be going one-on-one -on -one with a former G1 champion, Renegade. So now don't forget everybody here vying positioning for power. Of course, you have to remember, you got some big matches coming your way for a Summer's Night Slam. All right, Shadow Cat is out here and now for his opponent.
Yes, there he is, Renegade, former G1 champion. Now making his way down here, going to come down to the ring, going to go one-on-one, -on -one, maybe bolster his ranks, and maybe at some point in the future he can maybe get his hands on another title. Though I have to say this might be also a good opportunity for the likes Good chance for him to get a bolster of his ranks there. Shadow Cat might jump up a rung or two, taking out a former champion. All right, we are here. The bell has rung. Let's see what happens. As they tie up, they meet up in the middle of the ring. Shadow Cat. Now, uh oh, okay, now uh, Rev has to. Get in between them. There we go. And immediately, though, Renegade with the upper hand and Shadow Cat in the corner. And Renegade catches him. Oh, my goodness. Right there to the back of the head. And again, Renegade repeat. Now Shadow Cat. And oh, forcing him down to the mat. Headlock. And oh, big right hand right to the face of what? Uh, Cade. Okay, looks like uh, we got uh, the G1K out here as Renegade takes down Shadow Cat. Can only imagine what Cade is out here doing. It looks to be in. And oh, there's a nice athletic reversal from Shadow Cat as Cade again looks to be here in the corner of Renegade, of all people. I guess that makes some sense especially after not too long ago they managed to team up against a new tag team formation earlier now known as the blitz team and uh oh what is this renegade oh nice backdrop there and now uh oh shadow cat Oh, no, a reversal. Some nice right hands. Renegade getting out of that. And, oh, running head first. Right into Shadow Cat. Down he goes with that spear. And, oh, now a running knee right to the side of the head. Shadow Cat is down. We get a cover here already. There's two. And, no, Shadow Cat able to get that shoulder up. As you can see, Cade there. On the outside, cheering, cheering Renegade on. Now Renegade setting up uh, Shadow Cat with a nice stiff kick to the back there. And now, uh oh, Renegade! Oh, on the receiving end of a Hurricane Rana. Now stomping on the face, Shadow Cat in control. Tides have turned here. Is now, uh oh. Shadow Cat off the rope, and oh, man, right there in the side of the head. Foot meets face, and off the ropes, bam, hitting the mark. Bounding off those ropes, and Shadow Cat seems to, oh, not anymore, have the upper hand. Thanks to being drugged down by it. Renegade again with the spear. And now quickly with the cover, Renegade. Two, only a two count. Renegade can't quite believe it after the onslaught that he has doled out to Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat still hanging on. And now, oh, they're kicked right to the midsection. Renegade still in control. And oh, neck breaker. Down goes Shadow Cat once again. Oh, there's some elbows to the head. Shadow Cap fighting back, but no, quickly turning around with a vicious right hand. Renegade back on the attack. Yet to see any collusion from Cade on the outside, though it doesn't look like Renegade needs any. And oh, there's a running knee to the side of the head. 
And now quickly with a cover, we got one and two and three. That does it. Renegade with the victory. Cade going to come in, hop up, help the man celebrate. Take a look at some of these spears there in the replay section. And here, look at this. Running knee. Oh, running right towards Cade. Showing it off real well to his friend there on the outside. And there was the reversal. Helped turn the tide for him. And oh, there's another spear. Cutting him in half. And here's the running knee that did it all in. Right to the side of the noggin. Shadow Cat went down. And just did not get back up. And because there you see the one, the two, and of course the three. But that is what you get when you take on a former champion. And there you have it. There is your victor. And that is just a first match out of the gate here. We got many more to come. <laughs> giving him the sum of all beatings yes thank you clay your presence always sorely sorely missed here though you haven't been in action for a while but then again neither have i deserved a nice vacation for completely beating the crap out of me and you know maybe you I guess you could say you uh, took my balls and went home ha <laughs> uh, I'm funny so funny
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here once again with this tag team rivalry du jour as we got coming out here first. The former G1 Nation tag champs. Game attack team, Sean Ball and Craig Skitness coming out here now. A little bit of a rematch after they solidified, pretty much solidified their chance at getting another, well, opportunity here coming up at a Summer's Night Slam. Just, just beating the crap out of Funhouse team in an amazing match. Again, they will get their chance to get the titles, but of course, Funhouse, or rather the House of Pain, as they like to be called. Calling shenanigans, not liking that the fact that they lost want a rematch. They believe that the Game Attack team definitely could not do it again. They could not get another one over on the new tag champs here. So they wanted it. You're going to get it. One final meeting here before the Summer's Night Slam. All right, there they are. They are in the ring. They are ready, waiting for the rivals to come out. There they are, belts. Firmly around their waist, D1 Nation Tag Champions, Funhouse guys from House of Pain, the James Angel, Lawrence Sakamoto, the big man of the group there. Of course, we got Adam Kovic, obviously not out here now, but also a member of Funhouse. So not a member of this Tag Team Championship. It was won by these two men as you can recall in a well kind of thrown together tornado tag steel cage match where those two were able to get out of the cage before the game attack team was well actually it was more along the lines of Craig was held in the cage could not get out while the other two got out Here we go. We hopefully should Game Attack team win this time. It'll definitely prove their staying power and that they deserve another chance at, well, I guess you could say their tag team champions at this point. They, have, they before this, have held them for so long here in the G1 Wrestling Universe. And all right, looks like we got James Angel in first. And there's the bell. And James, whoa, starting things off with a bit of a high flying move there. Just bursting out of that corner. But there we go, shoulder takedown. As Cray takes the upper hand here, getting things back in his direction. But no, there's one right back from James Angel. And oh, there's a stomp to the arm. And oh, oh, okay, oh. There we are. Angel doing a bit of reps now. I'm going to go ahead and tag in the big man. Lawrence here, but not before. A nice quick backdrop. And now out he goes. Now Lawrence in the ring, in control. But, oh, quick shot to the gut from Craig. Picking up Lawrence now. Whoa, what is this? Oh, man. Down goes Lawrence here. Now a quick kick to the spine. Craig still in control of this match. Apparently very, very much filled with rage after losing those belts. And also very confident after the last win, but there's a right hand that'll knock that confidence right out. But oh, there's a reversal. Nice vertical suplex from Craig on that reversal. And oh, nailing. Sakamoto there, and uh-oh. Craig's got him up by the throat, just taking him down hard to the mat there. But Craig, not done. And whoop, flipping him up over the 
Oh, man. Lawrence taking him out to the outside here. Not a good place for Craig to be, but looks like James Angel is now going to wait for him to get back in the ring. And, oh, he gets back in and immediately goes to a neck breaker. Now going to stomp away on James Angel. The small, smaller, obviously quicker member of the House of Pain here. And is not doing him any favors. And oh, the stuttering stunner. Out of nowhere, something with a cover. One, two, is this it? No, not going to happen. The champ, James Angel, able to kick out. And it looks like Craig, smart man, going, using that teamwork. Bringing in Sean Bolin here. Rolling over Angel, maybe uh, he could get a quick cover. But no, barely even a one count. As you can see, Sakamoto there screaming, yelling, cheering him on as he gets a series of elbows from Bolin here. Now Bolin up onto the ringside. Uh-oh, what is this? He's waiting, waiting on the edge of that. Apron in, off the rope, boom! Flying punch right to the face. And now Bolin in control of this match coming out with a fury of shots, but now Angel with Sean in the corner. Nope, not gonna happen. Bolin not letting it happen. As Bolin maintains control. Oh, what is this? He's looking, he's looking like the boom! The Sean, Sean super kick taken down. James Angel, he's bleeding now. Holy cow, we got a good piece of him there. And James Angel not happy about what's going on. And oh, return fire with a big, big DDT there. Going to go ahead and I guess, yep, there it is. The tag to the big man. In comes Lawrence. And now into the corner, Sakamoto. James Angel on the outside bleeding. Going to rest up. It's Sean Bowen. Oh, my goodness. From the corner. That slam, Sakamoto is down, but not out. And oh man, down goes Bolin from the power of that drop kick from Lawrence. Now quick right hand, keeping him off of his balance, off his guard, and up, boom! Down again he goes. And now Sakamoto, boom! There again on the arm. And now, oh, right there to the back. Now it looks like Lawrence going to go ahead and tag in his bleeding buddy from the House of Pain. After a nice series of right hands, what are we going to see here? Going to set, just set him up for Angel taking him down. Looks like he's got his rest just bouncing back up here. But nope, Sean still ready, raring to go. And oh, the spin kick, the Sean special spin kick, taking down James Angel. And now what is this? Uh-oh, Angel not in a good position here. Oh, it's the game attack stampede time. And now here comes Craig. Craig turn. And boom, the bowling. The bleeding and beaten down. And oh, Craig with the big final blow. And now quickly with the cover. Here we go, here it is, one, two, and no. As you see there, Bolin running interference as Sakamoto tries to cut in. But again, we got the reversal. Now James Angel off the ropes. Oh, big elbow drops. And now with the cover, could this be it? No, Craig still able to managing to power his way out of that. Now, oh, just Angel now just savagely going after 
the head, just trying to rip it right off of Craig's shoulders here. And now, what, what is this? Up and over the top rope. Oh, continues his journey down to the outside. And looks like Craig following him closely behind. But no reversal. Shoulder tackle take down there on the outside. It's not a good place to be. As always, oh, just throwing him into the side of the ring here. The damage just, oh, mounting up here. As now, oh, Angel with a reversal, throwing him into those steel steps. As now, Angel up back in the ring quickly. Craig getting back to his uh, whereabouts, realizing where he is. Cool, now a quick combo. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Angel is down. Craig is not happy about this predicament as he goes for the cover. Could this be it? One, two, and three. Bowling got there to stop Sakamoto just in time, and that is why they are the former champs. There you see the stuttering stunner. The first nail in the coffin in this match. And, of course, here, the spin kick. As it has been shown that James Angel, definitely the weak link in this tag team champ. Speed he may have, but durability is not a thing he possesses. Here, uh, you see he is beaten and bloody. And here, finally, Craig. Oh, my goodness. Vicious maneuver right there. Ultimately able to get the victory. And there are your victors. The Game Attack team, be sure to follow up here as they will go after their belts here at the upcoming Summer's Night Slam. Oh, Shadowcat, you miss, missed your match. Remember, you have to donate more
And oh, hey, look at that. 40 bits from Mr. Short Bus Eric. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it looks like we're going to get a few words from Xander now, or drummer as he's doing there on social media. Uh, microphone in his hand. Uh, maybe he has a few disparaging words for somebody after his brutal loss against the debuting Tiger Mask. Let's give him a listen. And, oh, it looks like Xander calling out Tiger Mask after uh, he very thoroughly beat him just the other day on the screw attack knockback. Wanting him to come out and issue a apology for some reason. Wonder if exactly he'll get it. There's another thing as uh, Tiger Mask now coming out here. What do we got going on here?
And there you have it, a nice harsh exchange of words between Tiger Max and Xander. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we are up to some more tag team action here on the Game Attack Takedown as we got the G1 champ, Woody Man, coming out here first and foremost, as he should since he is the champion after all. Uh, but it looks like the authority here at the G1 Wrestling Universe have decided to put him and, well, actually the currently the man after his belt on a tag team to go up against somebody. Uh, another tag team of who I don't quite know yet it has not been quite announced but uh, as for some reason uh, the authority thinks this seems to at least get two people on the same page though I don't think that has ever happened no wait that's wrong I think it maybe has happened once here in the history of the G1 wrestling universe that the team of current rivals have come out on top and stayed together and so on and so forth. And there he is. The man that has 
got a achievement in mind and that achievement is to get that G1 belt and has definitely been on the hunt to get a hold of Woody Man. It is Jack Vitillo from Achievement Hunter. Uh, looks like they will be on a team together. Going to be taking on some other uh, tag team. Don't, again, don't know who it is. Guess we're just going to have to wait and see like everybody else here live on the Game Attack Takedown. You can only imagine what's going to happen here. Okay, here we go. Now, who exactly are they going to go up against? Did you see a shry look? Oh, a shry look from Jack Patillo to the champ, and I can see why. And it looks like they're going to face off against two other members from Achievement Hunter, the Play Pals. Michael Jones and Gavin Free. Let's say I, I think I can smell a hint of collusion here. I think this might not be good for Woody Man, as, uh, as you may know, Jack was a member of Achievement Hunter. The question uh, is, is this a form of collusion? Will Jack actually uh, be able to face his uh, brothers in arms at Achievement Hunter and get a victory for both him and Woody Man? Got to say, uh, did not expect something like this. You can only imagine what the authority, or maybe it was Jack Catillo pulling the strings here to get this happen. Got to say, this might, uh, whatever happens here, big inflammation, implications coming up here at the title defense. As there, we got the bell has rung coming up at a Summer's Night Slam. Just, oh, Michael Jones. Oh, just taking the fight directly to the champ, but the champ not down and out quickly with the uppercut. Fighting back here. But no, there's an elbow to the side of the head, and holy cow! Michael Jones. Nope. Woody Man tripping him up. Back on his feet. But now back and forth. Michael Jones, the champ, Woody Man, now a backbreaker. Oh, as the tag was made, Gavin's turn. As now we got a reversal. Woody Man not looking good here so far. And oh, just scraping the boot right off of his foot, forehead. Woody definitely not in a good position here, but no, now he has grabbed a hold. But no, oh, a roll up on the champion. One, oh no, reversal, one. And another reversal. It's back and forth here. Oh, my goodness. Two. No. Holy cow. Gavin, Woody Man, going back and forth with those roll-ups. But there we go. Gavin coming back, fighting back, coming out strong after all that. Here we go now. In to the corner he goes. Uh oh looks like we got a tag team maneuver going. And oh my goodness, off the top, boom, down he goes. Looks like Jack was trying to come in to help, but he has the referee distracted with that cover. Here we go, one, two, only a two count. And now, oh, rising knee from Woody Man fighting back here. And that looks like Woody Man going for the tag, and this is it. Will Jack Patillo be one with the team as there he breaks that up as now Woody Man being sent into the corner now Michael sets his sights on Jack putting him up against the ropes over he goes as the ref yells at Woody Man get out of the ring and oh now a series of right hands from Michael Jones and it looks like the fight is real 
There's now Jack up and over to the outside over that top rope. And uh oh, Gavin taking this opportunity to get reversal taken down by Jack here. And down goes Gavin. Jack in control on the outside. And oh, a big right hand. As now it is two against one on the outside, but Jack stomping on Michael and Gavin. Oh, a big right hand and off the table. He goes and another right hand right to that table. And again, play pals on the outside just bouncing Jack off that table repeatedly here. And whoa, over he goes with a serious amount of force, double teaming Jack Vitillo here on the outside. And Woody Man nowhere to be seen. And oh, now bouncing him off that metal pole as the count continues ever so much more higher. And there we go, back finally inside the ring. And now it is Gavin being tagged in, but not before Michael Jones with one last maneuver and now we got a cover and there's a two count and absolutely no attempt by the champ to cut in and try and stop that I guess he had a little bit maybe respect or for Jack to try and kick out but uh oh Gavin now on the outside on that side of the ring and off and oh no swatted away like the annoying little fly and uh oh jack has gavin oh nice vertical suplex it's now jack attillo oh my goodness it's now jack in oh my goodness double axe handle just as powerful fist right to the back of Gavin and Jack has Gavin. Oh no, what's this gonna be? He's got him, oh he's up, the Patillo power bomb. Oh my goodness, quick roll up. And only a one count after all that and now it's Woody's turn. It is definitely Jack Patillo has played his part and proved his ability in this match. It is now I guess uh, Woody Man's the champ's turn to, tr I guess, try and seal the deal. But, oh, nice left. And now blocking the right. Uh-oh. Has Gavin up. And boom, wooden nail driven hard right into the mat there. But Woody Man not done. Not at all. Into the corner goes Gavin. And now, uh-oh, what is this? Oh, he's hanging him up. Oh, no, are we going to see the splinter? Yes, Woody Man climbing up. Going to drive in the splinter. Oh, Gavin down. But is he out as we get a cover? One, two, and broken up by Michael. And now sending Michael off the ropes. And oh, nice spine buster from the champ there. Is now gonna go ahead and tag in Gavin. Uh, is the legal man with going up against Jack here. And Jack now being put into the corner. And oh, head first right into the turnbuckle and into a suplex. Now, okay, just rolling him on over, and we got a cover. And no, not even a two count, as Michael quickly stepping right back out of the ring. Is now, oh, man. Nice knee as Gavin gains control here. And oh, another knee to the face. Gavin just going in hard here. Jack once again at the mercy of... Gavin into the corner in enemy territory. Not looking good here as we get another tag team maneuver. Oh, he's up and up and over goes. Oh, Jack down. One, two, broken up just at two from the champ. As Michael climbing to the second rope here. 
Looks like he's waiting for Jack. And, oh, man. And, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Out of the corner. Michael comes busted out. Boom! Taking down Jack hard there. And now into the corner. Uh-oh, Jack preemptively celebrating. Not a good idea here against the Play Pals as once again he goes up and now it is Gavin's turn to take Jack down a peg as we get a cover. Two, three, that does it. Jack eats that three count as the champ and Jack fall at the hands of Achievement Hunter. There you see Jack none too happy about none of that and, uh oh to render Woody in that exchange. So they had a little argument and Woody stormed off. So that could have been an epic moment, but of course, 2K decided to just crap all over. God damn it, Shiro. So it looks like Shiro 937 with the 1,201 bits. Looks like now we will get the pay-per-view this evening, a Summer's Night Slam. So everybody be sure to think Chiro. <laughs> Dementia kicking in. <laughs> Jack arguing with no one. Hey, maybe he has a head injury. Maybe he, uh... Maybe he's had uh, too much, too many bumps to the head. Tweeting everything that I'm doing before it's uh, before it goes up, before it's live. Now you see, I want to do that same thing, but as a hype uh, tweeting and stuff to build up to the pay-per-view. But if you guys pay me, I don't get to do that. You know, it's a back and forth because at some point you're not going to be able to pay for a pay-per-view early. And I'm going to be able to make a hype video. I'm going to be able to. It's. I'm going to be able to make a hype video, make the hype tweets, 
and have the pay-per-view later and be able to hype all this stuff to the 11th degree. But if you guys want to see it that bad and you can come up with the bits, hey, we'll do it early. You know, it's that back and forth. and forego what I want to do because I want my viewers to get what they want because I enjoy doing this as much as you enjoy participating and watching Before this uh, happens, I actually need to go tinkle while this uh, loads still. I can't see why this is fucking taking so long loading. But hopefully while, I, while I'm gone tinkling, it'll get done. So how about everybody... I'm sorry about my word usage, but you're going to have to start using wonderful words like that as well unless you want your kid to walk around saying, oh, i got to go take a piss. All right. Well, I'm sure it'd be funny hearing Minibus going, Daddy, you got to go take a piss. Uh, I'm sure you wouldn't want that in the middle of fucking a store somewhere. So... All right, ladies and gentlemen, it sounds like we got something going on in the back area. We are getting cameras back there as we speak. Trying to help you see exactly what is going on here. And oh my goodness, it looks like Minibus and the Core Pirate are having it out in the back. Oh. Gotta say, I'm not surprised by this in the slightest, especially after, at the screw attack knockback, the core pirate getting one over on short bus. 
Now Minibus with that rack. But oh, mistake. But as now it looks like the core pirate firmly taking apart Minibus the same way he did short bus just the other day. As now this may not have been the best idea. Oh, into the locker room with Minibus. Not, not looking good here uh, for Minibus here in the locker room area now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's got him up. Is he going to hit him with the buyback? Yes, he is. Got him. And now, oh, into the locker. And oh, my God, what is this? The core pirate with Minibus. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, a power bomb into the locker. Minibus is down. But the core pirate. Oh, apparently Minibus not out of this yet. And now, oh, the core pirate getting slammed. And now back out to the hallway we go. The core pirate, though. Oh, with a quick uppercut. Not leaving the locker room area yet. Unless it is at the hands of the core pirate. As he is back into the swing of things. Up on that box now. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. He's waiting. The core pirate's waiting in the wings. And, oh, he hits him. And Minibus slams his head right into that trash can. This is not looking good for many. Uh-oh. The core pirate now in firm control has definitely taken Minibus out as we get some uh, officials back there to break this up. We will go ahead and move on to our next match. All right, uh, it's, oh shit, the hell? Hang on, I got a phone call. I'm doing my wrestling show. See, I got the microphone and I got people talking over there.
every bit of help from Shiro, and yeah, unfortunately, I tried to get my son to talk to you all, but apparently he doesn't want nothing to do with you guys. So, uh, the next match while we're waiting on my son's food to cook is Silent Hero versus Gus once more. Who do you think is going to win this next match? I think because of the whole wonderful game and it knows about 50-50 booking, I think this time it's going to be Gus leading into a SummerSlam. Hi, Silent Hero. If you haven't heard the the whole uh, bits, like you gotta donate more than 1,200 bits uh, to get the pay-per-view early, and we were just uh, discussing who would win, and you already said not me, and yeah, as Shiro said, he already donated the bits to get the pay-per-view. Well, I wasn't pissed more more so as I was in the middle of explaining something because the goddamn game was glitching and I got a donation and it just seemed like a bad time for a donation because the game was being a bastard. I know, it's it's just a thing about you know the game not cooperating it's like I don't deserve it type of deal because the game is so fucked because it didn't render woody and I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. And all. Oh, as soon as I sit down, 2,000 bits.
And also, Shadow Cat, was it you, Shadow Cat? Yes. I actually, whenever I want to farm bits, there's something useful you can use uh, as a sort of way around uh, the whole like limit that it puts up, that Twitch puts up. Uh, if you actually use a VPN and you like switch it around, like switch your VPN to like different countries and stuff and go back and forth and do it because it gives you like a different like address, uh, IP address and whatnot. It, uh, it'll help, help you farm a little bit more bits. I mean, not a lot. Eventually, uh, the, it'll just stop giving you bits <laughs> just because. Uh, but uh, that and plus, you never know. They might might have fixed that because I haven't really farmed for bits in a while. Uh, but that's what I used when it first happened when I realized there was a limit. idea how to do that you, you don't know what a VPN is well go look it up the, they're all the rage now because it's a whole security thing but enough about that enough about that we got wrestling to get to All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back after that. After that curve fluff in the back, looks like we have a meeting one more time between the big din of Silent Hero. There he is. Going to go one-on-one -on -one, one more time with Gus Sarola after his victory. Gus, none too happy about being taken down by Silent Hero, believes it was a fluke. An obvious fault. He absolutely underestimated uh, Silent Hero coming back. As you can see, uh, Silent Hero back in black with his touted Screw Attack Club t shirt on. So, here, one last time. Right before your eyes, here before a summer's night slam, will be here before you know it. One heck of a way to end the summer to get things kicked off right. One of the bigger parties here in the G1 Wrestling Universe. Is that, there it is, the Big Ten from Silent Hero. All right, now. All right, there we are. Here comes Gus. Obviously, none too thrilled what happened to him last time these two met in the ring. Wouldn't be surprised if he wants to come out and quickly put an end to this, put an end to any doubt that he, regardless of how much he may or may not care, for his he is a bit better than Silent Hero. And, of course, Silent Hero, obviously, doesn't want that to happen. I'm sure he will give it everything he has here to show the G1 Wrestling Universe he is in the top 10. The Big 10 of Silent Hero. So the question is, will the Sorola Rolla be the big victory or will that man right there, the Silent Hero, will he get the silencer and end and silence this debate between these two as the bell goes, and here we are, Silent Hero starting things off. Oh, man. Silent Hero definitely came to play, and oh, stomping on the side of the head. Now the chest. Silent Hero wants to definitely prove beyond a shadow of a doubt. Ah. 
that he is the bigger, better man here. And now, oh, leg drop from Sorolla. Seems to be getting the upper hand here as he takes Silent Hero by the hand and feeds him his own fist. His own fist, Sorolla, right to Silent Hero's face, but Silent Hero back up with a forearm to the side of the head. And now Gus going, oh, hanging onto the top rope. Silent Hero, okay then, come on back into the ring. It's now Silent Hero, uh-oh, now Silent Hero on the side of the ring, up and over, oh, he hits the mark, flying through the air. It's now Silent Hero once again, taking down Gus. Uh-oh, gonna try and end this here quickly, but no, Gus powering out of that. And now there's a kick right there to the back of the spine. Is now Gus, here we are in the hands. Oh, an atomic drop from Silent Hero, but Silent Hero not done. And oh, second time. Second verse, same as the first. And now Silent Hero, uh-oh, he's in the corner debating on what exactly to do next. Silent Hero got him back up and oh, up and over goes Sorolla into a su German suplex. As now Gus trying to get the upper hand, but Silent Hero once again fighting back. Up and over goes Gus. And now Silent Hero, oh, has him all tied up. Oh, is he going to make Gus tap with his arms? wrapped around him arms not meant to bend that way Gus not giving in though oh oh up and oh my goodness there's a knee to the side of the head Gus is up it has a hold of silent hero whipping him down to the mat and uh oh now elbows to the top of the head the back and forth in this match is real here And now, uh oh, Gus. Oh, there's one of those vicious Gus Sorolla DDTs just driving Silent Hero's skull into the mat. And, oh, quick kick out. Silent Hero realizing where he was. Gus can't believe it. So now Gus, uh oh, nope. Ah, not going to get a hold of the legs of Silent Hero. Now Silent Hero in control, quickly with a cover, trying to put an end to this. But no, Gus powering his way out again. And oh, there's a kick back to the shoulder blades this time. Silent Hero in control. And now, uh-oh, he's up. Silent Hero with the silencer. Boom, down goes Gus. And oh, quick kick to the back of the head there. Now trying for a stomp, but no, Gus is back up. And oh my goodness, oh, a low blow by Gus. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's another drop fist. Five fingers right to the face. And now more elbows. More elbows to the top of the head. A silent hero. Now Gus yelling at him, telling him to get back up. Silent hero slowly but surely does. And follows through with an elbow now Gus oh drop kick over up and over to the outside and Silent Hero following him so now the count goes up Silent Hero circling Gus here what's he gonna do uh oh he's got him and oh stomp right on the gut of Gus and oh swing and a miss with that drop kick to the back there as now Gus oh he's on him and oh, the right hands of Fury from Gus taking down Silent Hero. And again, Gus yelling at Silent Hero. And oh, but Silent Hero up again. And now, oh, onto that steel gating. Oh my goodness, Silent Hero up and oh, hanging him out to dry. Oh my God, Silent, what are you doing? Silent up on the side of the ring here. Silent Hero, oh my God, oh, the drop kick, oh, the, the leg drop. And now the count starts over as Silent Hero quickly back into the ring here. Holy cow, Silent Hero 
pulling out all the stops. And oh, he misses again. And now, uh oh, Gus has him up. Sorolla Rolla time. Now after that near fall, we got another cover by Silent Hero and only a two count still. As the beatings continue, Silent Hero just on a tear here, taking every piece he can get out of Gus Sorolla. And oh, again, a stomp. And oh, he nails that drop kick to the back. Sorolla down once again. And now, oh, a stomp to the stomach once again. Now kick to the back. Silent Hero got a good rhythm here. And oh, he's got him again. He's got him wrapped up. Oh, is Gus going to tap? And that's it. Silent Hero just laying on the pain of Gus Sorolla, making him tap out in agony here. And there's your winner. Silent Hero, holy cow. Take a look at some of the replays here. Look at that devastating DDT from Guts. And here, the oh, the leg drop with Gus draped over that steel grating there on the side of the ring in the Sorolla Rolla. As now, oh, there's the kick to the back and everything else. And there's your victory, Silent Hero, once again proving he is able to bring out the victory. And take down the Rooster Teeth Big Bad of Gus Sorolla. So yeah, look at that. He has a condition, a new condition now to where like he's on a losing streak. So odds are he's going to lose again. Uh, it's going to be harder for him to lose or er, win because of that. That's interesting. Game is broken. Game is not broken. You won. Because, I mean, if you think about it, Gus won all those matches. Now you've won all these. I mean, it's the 50-50 broken. Now probably what's going to happen is you're going to have your blow-off match at a Summer's Night Slam. And uh, odds are now that Gus has lost, he has that uh, little thing that I showed you that's new he, since he's on, like, a losing streak. Uh, the game can do one of two things. He can either he can either break the losing streak and get the victory and come out on top, or you can win again and just bury Gus, just bury him and shoot your way up the ladder. Is what happens in this game. So one of those two things can happen. So literally because of that, anything can happen at a Summer's Night Slam. So that is that's actually quite interesting with what's going on once you know like the so yeah well let's put it this way silent hero it's probably going to be one hell of a fight at uh summer's night slam silent wants to be a jobber forever well apparently the game isn't going to get to him i mean 
isn't going to let that happen. All right. What do we got next? what happens in the universe mode if you win like multi-man matches or you come out on top of uh feuds that really pushes you up higher in the rankings uh so odds are what's happening is the game wants to move you higher uh and probably put you in the title scene Yeah, do you got do you got a uh, name for it? In case you use it in the pay per view, because I I can't think of a name for that. Because I mean, your other finishing move, I, I'm calling the silencer. Silencer fits, uh, fits the submission hold better because that's fine. That's fine. Uh, then what do you want your other finisher to be? has is the Sarola Rolla. You know, thank you, Silent Hero. Uh, or rather, a Zero to Hero. Not Silent Hero. You didn't come up with that. A Zero to Hero came up with that, I do believe. The Hero's Fall. Yes! Shiro! Nice! I like it. Hero's Fall. You got the Silencer, Submission, and the Hero's Fall. Good job, Shiro. I like it. All right, now it looks like uh, after that brutal match that we just got through, looks like we got uh, the G1K coming out here with a microphone in hand. I wonder what, exactly what's on his mind as we uh, just recently saw him at the Renegade's side as he cheered him on to a victory against uh, Shadowcat earlier. Uh, be interesting to see exactly what is on his mind here. What do you say we take a moment? Uh, give the man a listen. And oh my goodness, uh, Cade uh, apparently calling out Renegade. Apparently he needs a change. Uh, does... Does he want to go up against Renegade? Does he have a problem with him? He was out here. He's out here cheering him on earlier.
can only imagine what he wants with uh, Renegade coming out here. Got to say, I am quite perplexed about what's going on. And there you have it. Looks like we got a new team with Renegade and Cade. So yeah, I kind of set that in motion little by little. Uh, with them teaming up and everything because as you know we have a few tag teams but not nearly enough G1 tag teams and considering you know Cade and Renegade they know each other you know the whole Omniverse thing uh, I figured you know what he's a former champion Cade's kind of new you know that could be a whole good thing so yeah I kind of uh, throw through that together in my head I figured they'd make a good tag team I figured I'd call him uh, the Omni or Omni something or something like that you know just call him Omni <laughs> no, no, I didn't script it. I predetermined it some time ago, and I had it drip-fed little by little <laughs> until finally we are at this moment right now where you guys finally team up after everything, all that's happened. You know, I'm, I'm big on story uh, and all that kind of crap since that's the only thing I personally can control in this. So yeah, now it looks like uh, Cade, you and Renegade will be in the running for the G1 Nation Tag Team Championships along with the greats like the House of Pain. Uh, we got... Of course, the Champions, uh, Blitz Team, uh, Raging Storm, uh, Play Pals, uh, and of course, Beauty and the Beast. Can't forget them. How about I use the Xbox app on my phone to check it? In case it might be a naughty message from you
uh, that and that would also mean three different tag team matches. What does it mean? <laughs> We still got the main event coming up. It's a ladies three-way uh, uh, number one contender match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on the Game Attack Takedown as we got more singles action coming your way as we got Corporate Minibus going to be taking on the WGC champ. It'll be an interesting match to say the least, especially with your WGC champ recently in a knockdown. Oh, what is this? Looks like Short Bus Eric has come out here. He's got a steel chair and oh my God, from behind. Minibus, Corporate Minibus is down. I guess I uh, gotta say I can't be too surprised at this, especially after the vicious attack Minibus got from the core pirate. Oh no, as they fight it out here on the steel rampway. And here comes Eric, oh, taking him down quickly, right back up on his feet. Gonna take him to fight directly to the corporate Minibus here and oh, Nice combination, punch, kick, he's got him all wrapped up again, and oh my goodness there. Doing his best to take out the imposter, and oh, now in the ring goes Short Bus. And now, oh, there we go, a quick jab right to the gut. And oh, back to the outside goes Minibus, and the uh, ref calling for sanity here. I don't think he's going to get it, though. There's now Minibus whipping Short Bus Eric back into the ring. And then we have to put an end to this and get things under control.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Game Attack Takedown as we got a women's triple threat match as your main event. All three of these ladies looking for the number one contendership spot for the G1 Women's Championship, which will be, before you know it, here at a Summer's Night Slam against Relic Raider. And the first woman out is large Marge gotta say she has uh, definitely been back in the scene as of recently uh, definitely taking control of many a matches course though you have to remember though this is a triple threat match so nearly anything can happen anything goes in a triple threat match and of course obviously she is not alone in this match as we get our next competitor out here vying for number one contender shit one of the most recent g1 women's champions it is thanatos As you can remember, she had quite the epic back and forth with another former G1 champion, uh, Rune, who ultimately lost her championship to the current women's champ, Relic Raider. So it's no surprise that she is still in the title picture, in the title scene. And if she manages to get a victory here, she will be going on and facing Relic Raider at a Summer's Night Slam. But again, this is only two of our three participants here tonight. As now she is out here. All right. Now we get our last competitor. Who is it going to be? Ah, uh, yes, as you can see, for Thanatos, none too worried. As it is Mini Makoto coming out here. As you can all remember, she had definitely made a good plea that she was on the look to further her role in the G1 Wrestling Universe Women's Division. What better way to do it than going after the big prize, going after the gold? And if she can use her tenacity, use her speed to her advantage, and manages to manage to get the pin, get the victory, she will be headed to a Summer's Night Slam in perfect position to get a hold of that gold. So as you can see, we got some good members here from the G1 women's division as we all get ready for the, the main event to go on as you see large marge and not too troubled with anatos ready raring to go minimikoto limbering up and here we go there is the bell and large marge to the outside minimikoto going directly for thanatos but no thanatos saying nah -uh. oh vicious ddt from thanatos as now Large March taking this opportunity to get a little bit of one-upsmanship on Thanatos here. And oh, a big headbutt. Definite big size advantage for Large March here. Oh my goodness. Taking her down there with that neck breaker up on the, oh, big gut punch. Taking down Large March off the ropes. And now, oh my goodness, the power of Thanatos. How is she able to do that in a backbreaker? Oh, definitely see a big size difference here. There is a reason they call her Large Marge. So as you can see, oh, no, Thanatos missing the mark. It's Large Marge back up, grabbing a hold of Mini Makoto here. Oh, no.
And now here we go. Uh-oh. And now up and oh my goodness, large march with Tony Akoto just tossing her across the ring, but Thanatos back in the match, but is immediately caught by Large Marge. And oh, quick snap suplex taking her down. Minami Koto struggling to get back to her feet. And oh, big drop kick to the back. And here comes Minami Koto now. Trying to take a piece of Large Marge. And oh, there you see the swiftness of Minami Koto. And now Vathanatos getting in on the action. Stomping on the arm. Gonna sit back. Minami Koto let this. Oh, no. <coughs> Gonna let the uh, these two, I guess, former champs battle it out. And Vathanatos getting out of that. And oh no, Minamikoto going after Vathanatos. And whoa, Vathanatos saying nope. Quick sweeping kick. And oh, spin kick misses the mark, but no. Large Marge over the shoulder with Vathanatos. And now Large Marge in control. Oh my God. Down goes Vathanatos. And Large Marge is large and in charge here in this triple threat match on the Game Attack takedown. And, oh, there's some elbows. But Thanatos not done yet. Grabbing a hold of Large Marge. Boom, down she goes. And now, uh-oh, reversal. Large Marge and Minami Koto is back. But, oh, swatted down. Not going to let her have that advantage to take out. But Thanatos, oh, my goodness. Devastating DDT from Large Marge, and now Minamikoto once again just thrown across the ring with the power. Now we got to cover. This might be it. Large Marge, two, no. Minamikoto able to kick out. It's now Vathanatos pulling herself up on the ring ropes. We get a reversal, and whoa, there's that agility from Minamikoto taking down Large Marge, and Large Marge. Getting out of the ring and now it's just Vathanatos and Minamikoto in the ring. Vathanatos up on the top. And Minamikoto up there with her and oh, oh my goodness. Taking her down from the top rope. But Vathanatos not out of this yet with an uppercut. But oh, Minamikoto fighting back with all of the ferocity that she can have. And oh my goodness. Minamikoto now, boom, rolling her over into a cover. But no, oh, a nice quick kick to the back of the head gets Minamikoto out of that cover. And now Minamikoto taking down Large Marge. And uh-oh, Minamikoto in the corner. Oh my goodness, is this the, yes, it's a spear. Oh no, it was reversed. Large Marge saw it coming, but she did not see that chop from Vathanatos. Is now Vathanatos with Large Marge, a belly to belly slam. On Large Marge, holy cow. We got a cover. And no, it is broken up by Makoto. As now Mini Makoto and Vathanatos square off and into the corner goes Vathanatos, holy cow. Gotta say, I have no idea where in the heck this match will go. And oh, swing and a miss. As now Vathanatos back up and fighting and whoa, Vathanatos, here she comes, boom. Down goes Mini Makoto, but no, not gonna let her have that pin. And Large Marge stomping away, and out goes Vathanatos, but Mini Makoto still in this match, but whipped down to the ring. And a reversal from Mini Makoto here. And oh, a little premature celebration, but Mini Makoto still in this. And oh, a nice quick spear, and again. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh my goodness. Mini Makoto just going on a tear here. Where are the comeback? Now, Minnie Dakota, what are you going to do? Oh, my God. The power. How is she doing this? Oh, Minnie Dakota with large marge. But here comes Vathanatos stopping that dead in its tracks. Is now Vathanatos. Oh. Oh, no reversal. Not going to let Minnie Dakota have it. Not that easy. And now, oh, down she goes. Vathanatos, Minnie Dakota. Just going on a tear in this match. Oh, quick stomp to the back. Man, but... Large Marge is back up. I don't think Minamikoto knows it. And we get a cover. Large Marge doesn't see it. And only getting a two count, though. And, oh, I don't think Large Marge is very happy about that. And, oh, stomping her down into the mat. And out goes Minamikoto. And Large Marge is ready for Vedanatos. And, oh, she's got her. 
Oh my God, Cradle, oh, right into that DDT. Thanatos is down, could this be it? Two, three, that does it, Large Marge with the victory. Large Marge laying waste to everybody here with the big victory. Looks like she will be going on to face Relic Raider at a Summer's Night Slam. Be sure to tune in that. That'll be here before you know it. Oh, man, there. The sheer tenacity of Minnie Makoto, but ultimately it was that right there with Minnie Makoto out of the ring as Large March takes advantage. And there you see the one, the two, and the three as Large March with the victory. She will be the one to take on our current champion, Relic Raider, at a Summer's Night Slam, and that'll do it here for the G1 Wrestling Universe. That'll do it for the Game Attack Takedown. Be sure to be on the lookout here in the very near future for a Summer's Night Slam as we got a big event coming your way. And until then, we will see you there. So yeah, that uh, that's gonna be uh, quite the match. Oh, wow. And <laughs> it's on the geek contingent one. Oh goodness. So yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, normally I'd, I'd show you what's coming up, but well, obviously I can't do that because it's a pay-per-view and you beat the crap out of a baby. That's true. Beat the crap out of a baby. So there is that. So now at the very least we know of a few matches. I just got to try and, uh, see if I can add some other matches to the card somehow some way uh, what time is the pay-per-view uh, I don't know yet it'll be after I get home this evening uh, once the kids are home from school